and welcome to the third episode of Life is Sweet with the Blossoms. I'm Lucy. And I'm Kelly. And we are back. But before we get on today, what today's episode is going to be about, we just wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody who has subscribed to this channel, who has watched our Sweet Enough video, who watched our first episode. It means the world to us and we just hope you're having fun, they're making you giggle and you're enjoying it. So, today we thought we'd talk to you all about this awesome trilogy that we both found on Kindle. It's called the Gingerbread Cafe series by an awesome woman called Rebecca Raisin. We love her, we love her hearts to her. It's about a girl named Lil who owns the Gingerbread Cafe in the little town of Ashford and she makes the most scrumptious treats that literally you read it and your mouth is just watering. If ever there was a book that me and Kelly would absolutely fall in love with and adore, it's this one. It is just absolutely perfect. The right amounts of romance with treats that you just want to get up off the couch and bake and we just fell in love with it. If we could go to the gingerbread cafe, we would. Yeah. We just fancy getting a book, sitting by the fire, having a gingerbread milkshake, a gingerbread coffee or just a gingerbread treat. So hence why today me and Lucy thought we welcome you to our little gingerbread cafe and show you our little array of gingerbread treats. So our first little treat on the menu today is our gingerbread milkshakes. <laughs> and these are really, really simple. All we did was put milk, some chocolate syrup, whipped cream on top, and a sprinkle of ginger and a sprinkle of cinnamon because we love cinnamon. And then that's just a tasty treat to enjoy while you're reading the book. Mm. <laughs> So the second thing we wanted to show you today is our gingerbread fudge slash DIY. And while our gingerbread fudge is in the fridge setting, we thought we'd show you what we did with our little DIY mixing jar. So we have these from Target this morning. We've got a few little gingerbreads, buttons and some string and some tags. And basically we just tied everything together. And these were absolutely adorable because we just thought, oh my goodness, they look like they came right out of the gingerbread cafe itself. And we just couldn't resist. So yes, our cute little DIY and we can't wait to put in our gingerbread fridge and see what it looks like all together. So our gingerbread fudge is ready. We had it in the fridge for about 30 minutes setting and as you can see, it's all set. Um, this was a really, really simple recipe. All we needed was one 12 ounce bag of white chocolate chips, three quarter cups of condensed milk, and a sprinkle or a pinch to teaspoon a tablespoon of cinnamon and ginger. We didn't really add any nutmeg because we're not fond of it, so just add do, whatever you want. Do it to taste, make it how you like it. So all that's left now is to put them in our jars. Our gingerbread fudge all looking cute and cozy in the jar. They look like they've just come right out of the gingerbread cafe and I'm so so excited because they look so delicious and yummy. So there you guys have it for episode 3 of Life is Sweet with the Blossom. We had a whole weekend inspired by the wonderful Rebecca Raisin and her book series The Gingerbread Cafe. Before we go, we will tell you that my favourite out of the series would have to be Chocolate Dreams at the Gingerbread Cafe. A whole community coming together in the little town of Ashford for chocolate. That sounds like my kind of thing. <laughs> my favourite would have to be Christmas Wedding at the Gingerbread Cafe. Just because I adore all things weddings and it's just the most cute book. I can't even explain, you just have to go and read it. It's just adorable. It's Christmas time, there's fairy lights, there's cake disasters. What more could you want? So go on Amazon, find the trilogy, it's only $5.99 and you won't be disappointed. Come on, try it now, i got to dig in. Well, you guys are still there. Go, oh, shoot, shoot you find any of them. No, these are ours. Subscribe to our channel, follow us on Twitter, go show us pictures, tell us what you make. Have a good weekend. <laughs> Bye guys!